Hello, my name is Melissa Aidy and I work for and Beyond. I'm here to share wild child yoga with you today. As you can see, I love being in nature and yoga is one of the ways that I connect with myself and feel my connection to the trees, the grass, the mountains and rivers and all the magical creatures that live in our beautiful, beautiful world. And Beyond is all about caring for wildlife, land and people. And yoga, in a similar way, helps to take care of your body, your emotions, and your mind. So please join me for a six-week series, little short 15-minute classes on how to access more of your natural wild self. I look forward to the journey, and I hope you do as well. Thank you. So we're going to take a deep breath in, your hands are at your heart, concentrating on the beautiful center of your being. Let's take a nice inhale. And as we inhale, lifting your hands up to the sky and then opening your fingers, extending them wide like beautiful wings, feeling the air around you. Turning your hands downwards, there we go. And exhale and bringing back to heart center. Inhale, look up. And exhale, opening your wings like a beautiful, beautiful bird. Touching the earth, bringing them back to heart center. And inhale. Last one. And exhale. Good. Now we're gonna to start to do some rolls. So this is really good for lubricating your spine, getting air between the vertebra, getting all those cricks and tense points moving. So we're gonna inhale as we roll back and exhale as we come forward. Now, as you can see, I'm lucky enough to be in the most beautiful wilderness area. Your imagination is incredibly powerful. It's changed direction. So, if it pleases you, you too can imagine being somewhere just like this. Here we go. Good. You should really start to feel your spine loosening up. And we're coming to, coming to an upright position. Inhale, stretch back, and exhale, extend your chest forward. So these warming up postures just get you ready for a little bit more stretching, a little bit more work. Good. And bringing your hands to your ankles. As you can feel, this starts to stretch your upper back. So if you've been hunching over a desk or a computer a lot, this is gonna work that part of your body and ease the tension there. Awesome. And taking your hands to your shoulders, so my thumbs are behind. Your shoulders are not up around your ears like this. They drop down. Good. We're going to move from side to side. Inhale one way and exhale the other. Good work. Beautiful. And now we're going to roll over onto all fours. So coming into the cat position leopard position if you're in the wilderness spreading your fingers wide and we're going to roll our spine up just like a cat does and as you exhale this comes into cow position or buffalo if you're in the wild on safari inhale and exhale inhale exhale good inhale and exhale inhale exhale one more and exhale good and now we're going to tuck in our toes take a deep breath in strong arms and pushing up into a downward facing wild dog we're going to take a little walk easing into it wild dogs are some of the fastest creatures in africa so before we get ready to take off for a run you've got to ease into it and stretching on your tippy toes and try and get your heels down onto the ground Good work. Take a deep breath in and pull in your tummy, stretching your right leg up to the sky. 
Breathing in and breathing out, bringing it down slowly. And let's do another one. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and bring it back. And let's walk the hands slowly backwards, dropping your head and slowly rolling up one vertebra at a time. Good. Okay, let's come into a nice wide stance, similar to a giraffe, getting ready to drink at the watering hole. Stretching into your arms, extending into all those fingers. Pull your knees up so your legs are super strong. Good. Inhale, strengthen the belly, and exhale, folding forward, flat back. And reaching your hands down to see if you can touch your toes or your ankles or your knees, depending on how flexible you are. Coming down and drop your head. Remember to pull those knees up. Deep breath in and out. And again, and out. Inhale, coming up into a flat back again. And exhale, coming over to one side. Oh, can you feel that stretch down the side of your body? Really beautiful. Inhale into it. And exhale back to center. Good. Inhale, and exhale over to the other side really enjoying that beautiful stretch down the side of your body pulling your knees up make sure your legs are super strong inhale and exhale back to center put your hands down on the ground and drop your head again and let's bend the knees walking in a little bit there we go and coming up pushing on your knees with your elbows stretching 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 those legs open Good. Hands in prayer position, focusing on your beautiful heart. Give us a smile. <laughs> Inhale. And pulling up your legs, your tummy, and are you ready? Let's go. Whoa. I nearly didn't make it there. Opening up. Good. Inhale. Good. Let's come into Tadasana or mountain pose. Mountains are strong. Mountains can't be moved. Well, aside from massive forces like earthquakes and earth moving equipment. Inhale. Bring your hands to your heart. And you're going to slowly. Transfer the leg to one side. So transferring your leg to one side. Pulling your leg up. Pushing your foot into your thigh and your thigh into your foot. It really helps to imagine yourself like a tree with strong roots reaching down into the earth just like a tree does. And keep your focus on one unmoving object in front of you. So you grounded roots reaching deep into the earth, your branches up into the beautiful sky, trying to touch the sun like a tree. And bringing the hands down and pray above your head. So your spine is super straight. And well done, you have a beautiful tree posture happening right there. Hold it for a few breaths. Bringing your hands down and slowly dropping your leg. Nice. And again, coming into Tadasana, mountain pose, stretching your toes up and then grounding down into your feet, transferring onto the other leg. Remember that root going down deep into the earth, holding you fast. Pushing foot into thigh, thigh into foot. And let's extend our exquisite branches, reaching for the sun. Here I get to touch a real tree. Hello. Bring my hands above the head like that.
you want to draw your belly in pull your shoulders down and together good going guys and slowly dropping down so some of you may have felt a little wobbly doing that you can also just put your feet there until you get your balance like everything in life practice 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 <sighs> right now we're going to come down onto the mat bring your feet together this is called butterfly pose so just like a butterfly gently lightly moving those butterfly wings your knees good and i'm opening my heart you can see i'm not scrunching over like that opening my heart reaching forward drop your chin a little bit there we go inhale and now we're gonna open our feet up like a book stretching those feet i mean whoever does this with their feet right that's a whole new way of looking at the bottom of your foot what can you see are there some weird colors sometimes feet can get a little bit yellow sometimes a bit red when you're hot blue i've seen blue feet Closing your book, your foot book. Inhale, and we're gonna reach down. So you wanna push your elbows into your legs like that, so you're getting a bit of leverage, pushing your knees open, deepening your stretch. And you can see I'm not rounding my back. I'm keeping my heart up, my back's flat. Awesome. Stretching into that. Lovely, well done. And coming up and rolling over onto our backs one vertebra at a time so we're we gonna do the um, shoulder stand and I want you to keep your head facing up towards the sky when you do this so please don't turn your neck during this posture please go up really really slowly if you feel uncomfortable stop that's always the rule with yoga no pain at any time all right, so I'm gonna roll over. Oops, there my feet go to the ground. I'm putting my back, my hands behind my back and reaching my feet up for the sky. Awesome. And there I'm looking at my feet, the viewpoint of the upside down world. Stretch your feet, wiggle your toes, move your legs around stretch each way good can you bring your feet together and bring them down nice and up and bring them back over again and slowly roll down with control beautiful and bring your knees into your chest rolling from side to side and up and down and now it's time for relaxation so that's called shivasana in the yogic um yogic terms so you're gonna you can either lie down or sit up so whichever way makes you comfortable i like to lie down let your feet flop out sideways put your hands down on the earth, close your eyes and just relaxing your breath. If you prefer to just keep a soft gaze, that's completely fine. So those of you who want to stay lying down, just stay where you are. The others can sit up, completely relaxed. Close your eyes into a soft, soft gaze. Deep breath in and out. And another one. And out. We're going to breathe in for four counts. One, two, three, four. And exhale, breathe out. One, two, three, four. And again, 
breathing in, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. And one last time, inhale, two, three, four, and let it go. slowly feeling the weight of your body on the mat gently wriggling your feet rubbing your thumb over your fingers give yourself a big hug and you're welcome to keep your eyes closed and slowly come sitting up and let's all wrap our arms around our bodies give yourself a big hug there we go. And bringing your hands to your heart in prayer. Take a deep breath in as you open your eyes. And thanking yourself for showing up for you today and doing something good for your body, your mind, and your emotions. Thank you for joining me with And Beyond Wild Child Yoga. I'm Melissa Aidy, and I'll see you next week. Namaste.